A St. John's County man who used to work with kids learning golf at TPC Sawgrass now faces four counts of possession of images depicting child sexual abuse. Deputies arrested 49-year-old Josh Gumlia Monday. He's in jail tonight. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. Now, since we broke this story at 4 o'clock, we've been to his home and talked to neighbors. Action News Jack's Annette Gutierrez is live at the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Annette, our law and safety expert says crimes like this, unfortunately, are becoming more common. Yes, unfortunately, that's the case. Dale Carson tells us the Internet is making it easier for criminals to access and distribute child porn. And he adds this is a real problem. Previously, it would be very difficult to even acquire the material. Today, it's simply the press of a button, which is making it too available. Action News Jack's lawn safety expert Dale Carson has had decades of law enforcement experience. He says he's noticed a rise in child sexual abuse crimes. My perception is that it's more prevalent today than it was 20 years ago, simply because it's so available. I visited Joshua Gumlia's neighborhood, and many neighbors were disturbed to learn about these allegations. A neighbor who wanted to remain anonymous says Gumlia usually kept to himself. You see him come and go, he's just a normal guy. You would think that that's not, that's not really who he is, but he's very reclusive. The St. John's County Sheriff's Office arrested Gumlia on four felony counts of possessing child sexual abuse material. The arrest warrant reveals a recorded interview detectives had with Gumlia at his job. He stated he works with junior golfers at the PGA Tour Performance Center, TPC Sawgrass. And I just, it just makes you really want to just double check and triple check who you're letting around your children. It says he told detectives he knows it's wrong and disgusting and reprehensible, but he also feels like it's a victimless crime. The sheriff's office emailed a statement saying the children who are the subject of these images are victims. Subjects who seek out these images are fueling the sexual exploitation of children. And a PGA spokesperson tells us Gumlia no longer works with them. And now he is currently booked at the St. John's County Jail on a $40,000 bond. For local coverage you can count on, live in St. John's County, Annette Gutierrez, Action News Jacks.